Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Shadow Wars Adventure. It's seven days to die. Okay, so what's going on today? Well, if you look in the top right hand corner there, you'll see Alpha 12. And of course, the name of the video will be probably Alpha 12 Update. And so you would have clicked on it. <laughs> so welcome. <laughs> So, what is this update all about? Well, like any update in 7 Days to Die, it's you typically, whenever there's an update in 7 Days to Die, the game changes. Not completely, but there's enough stuff in there to you make the experience a whole new experience again. And I'm noticing that my audio is reset. So this, they obviously... Okay, um, yeah, okay, this is really interesting. I'll have to kind of play with these settings here because I don't know if this is from the last time or not. Let's do that. Okay, perfect. Let's turn off voice chat. Perfect. Okay, video settings. So there's new video settings here. Um, I have them kind of cranked, but not turned off the motion blur because that doesn't make sense kind of played with these a bit increased my view distance you know I turned the field of view to 80 and so this all I think seems to work pretty pretty good and yeah so let's go on so there there's the controls here I think you can rebind these keys now so for example inventory used to be the I key but now it's the tab so I don't know which one I like better whether it be this tab still or the eye or make the scoreboard the tab I don't know you could probably switch them around I think you just oh shit yeah see you just click on it <laughs> okay a mouse sensitivity I have set to 10 because I was kinda playing with it a little bit just to see what we're at, where we're at and okay so let us make a whole new game I'm gonna call this Alf. Was it YouTube Alpha 12? Now you have to remember this game is an alpha, so there's still gonna be bugs. You can definitely tell that they rushed to Alpha 12, unfortunately, just because of that. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna leave it on Nomad. Uh, the daylight length. Not sure how that works. They changed this a little bit. It used to be where you could set how long the daylight is and how long the night is. So you now it's a little bit different. Um, the zombies I've turned to never run because I don't know. I don't like the the running where they run at night. Your normal aggression, persistent profiles. I don't know. Just that way we keep our profiles the same, so that you keep your characters. 24 hour cycle I'm not sure we're just gonna play the game just kinda talk about the game talk about the new changes and all that stuff so this is part of it loot abundance respawn so they changed the loot respawn times you know they kinda pop up like this so we'll just leave it on default I have the drop on death for tool belt only cuz I don't know that's the way I want to do it and otherwise we keep everything the same at 100%. Craft timers, of course, and loot timers. Even though people don't like to watch it, I like them. So yeah, you know, don't watch if you don't like them. Otherwise, you know, care, you know, continue watching. So yeah, so we got these settings here. Let's give it a shot. Oh wow. That's cool. Must be a storm outside. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Where are we? So, it starts you off at 6 o'clock in the morning now. Looks like we're starting by a road here, which is good. We will start collecting basic materials. So, looks like everything is running as I expect. So, that's cool. So, we'll have hopefully the full effect of the game. Maybe I can start playing the game in these better graphic settings. So far it's pretty smooth, so I'm quite impressed with that. Finally, finally, it seems they've done some optimizations for the video cards. Finally. Whew. Thank you, Fun Pips. <laughs> uh, looks like they changed the animations of the hands. They changed the graphics of the hands a bit. 
That's kind of interesting. Uh, looks like the sounds maybe. The sounds are really loud. I'm gonna have to check that here. So here are the options. When you go, you hit escape. You pause the game actually now. And so now we can actually be in here without the time advancing, which is nice. So audio. So we find it still very loud, right? So let's pop this down to here. Let's increase the music, maybe. Um, let's see how that goes. So I apologize for hopping back and forth into the sound like that, but the, I don't know. This is the only way I'm going to be able to get an Alpha 12 video out. I still have a lot of Alpha 11 footage I need to to publish. I need to. <laughs> You go on an editing spree, it's just been very, very difficult. Not to mention it's been super hot here lately. And to be a whiner, of course, and to complain about my stuff. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's been challenging. Uh, what else is new? Tab to get into your inventory, they changed that. Notice I have all my pieces here. This is now highlighted. I can click on that, now it automatically pulls it. So that's pretty cool. They've also added the shift clicking in here. So you can shift click now here and shift click there. Now I can also shift and right click to split into half. All right, I can control uh, right click for one item. And now um, you can also right click on the items and you get access to kind of like you know, this kind of stuff. Uh, you can split them from here and you can also just examine it, all right? As well, if I hit sh shift right click, I can, I think, right click for one item, right? And if I shift right click again, I can just left click and it drops it in there. And now if it's gonna be a stack, it's going to, it should uh, come through correctly. So this will lead to a point of interest, this little dirt road here. So let us check this garbage here and go to the point of interest. Maybe it'll be some place to camp some place to set up so let's click some more of this stuff because we need oh yeah they also changed that um, some stuff looks like the materials but the wood and the sticks they turn into um, like little bags that you can pick up so let's just head down this way here they've changed the clouds they made them procedurally generated apparently so that's kinda cool um, the anti-aliasing stuff, I'm not sure which of those I should pick. So there's a pig off into the, uh, the distance to the left there. Let's see, let's grab some of this stuff here. You have to always be able to create... Oh, there's a zombie there. Okay. Okay, uh, let's see here. Uh, not, see, I, I keep hitting I because I'm used to hitting I. So now these we should be able to turn to planks. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Now that better not be a bear. I heard it to my left. So I know they added bears into the game. Uh, what else have they done? They've redid the ragdoll physics. Uh, oh, that is a bear. See to the left there. Walk at a distance there. Holy crap. Okay, oh, never mind, this point of interest is going to be a challenge. So let's go map. So they do show up on there. And it looks like it goes in, in both directions, to the left and to the right there. Huh. Yeah, we'll have to check that out another time maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure how often I'm going to do an Alpha 12 video. I'm just kind of doing this because it's release day. Woohoo, July 3rd. And... I don't know. I wanted to play the game to see what kind of changes th they've done. I do have the textures set up to full, I think. I, so I do have everything kind of cranked up a bit. Uh, let's let's go check out. Let's see. Let's check out this road. We'll follow the road and kind of see where it leads us. Um, yeah, we're way away from the hub city. Holy crap. Oh man, are we like in like a mountainous area? We must be, cause that's interesting to see the bears. So this must be like an alpine biome, maybe. I don't know. 
Yeah, see, there's a bag there because it was a stick, I think. Okay. I don't know. What else? What else is is new in Alpha 12? Well, you know, the UI is a little bit different, of course. We kind of gone through that. I went through that really quickly. Um, you know, they, uh, there's a whole slew of bug fixes, so I would recommend to go to the Seven Days to Die website, which I have linked in the description, of course, of the video. You definitely check that out. You check out their post on Alpha 12. That will kind of explain about the mini bike, the controls, uh, all of that, because their their log, I think, is right up there. And so I recommend you definitely take a look at that. I hear footsteps. Definitely take a look at that because that will that will kind of explain all the changes. Uh, there's a looks like a lot of cosmetic changes as well to the game. Um, there seems to be some under the hood changes. I guess we'll find out when we play with Lushable. But so far it's running really good while I record on my own computer here with Seven Days to Die. Typically this game would be clunky and wouldn't work as smooth as it does. Oh yeah, what else do they do? The, the train now loads in kind of, well typically it loads in kind of s softly so like objects and stuff will will fade in instead of just appearing. Uh, they kind of did that. There we go. They kind of changed the ragdoll physics but yeah, they still need to play with that. It's like there's not enough weight added on to these guys. It's like they're 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 too bouncy. It's like they're made out of rubber. <laughs> there's another zombie. Hello, zombie. I don't want the bear though. Oh crap! Come on. Yeah, I find the game is very. Oh, there we go. I'm level two. Look at that. That's so dumb. I'm sorry, you guys are gonna have to work on the uh, the, the the gravity because that's still. Oh, there's the bear. <laughs> let's put that. Let's put this on. Okay, let's let's go. Crap! I don't want to go back. That sucks. Let's keep going. Just keep going. Let's kind of run a little bit. So they added now your healing. So, oh, there's a lot of zombies actually up here. Okay, well we can run past them. Yeah, we run past you guys. See, ya. don't wanna be with ya. Oh crap! What was I was gonna talk about the game, and I lost my train of thought. That sucks. I don't want to. Oh, I'm bleeding! Yay! I don't know. Um, I'll be playing this game, of course, as usual with Lushable Echo, because that's how I play Seven Days to Die. I can barely play it like this. Uh, let's see here. Let's keep running. They changed the the map generation in Alpha 12, as you can tell. I think this one keeps going up. I don't know if I want to follow it or not. I don't know if that's if that's a good idea. They changed. The way that the biomes g generate. Now what's that? That's a new item. The duct tape. Cool. They change the way that the biomes kind of get populated. Like the higher you go, the uh, you know the more mountainous it is. So then the ground kind of reflects that, right? So the higher we're going, it's kind of cool in that respect. Uh, some tokens. They turn to scrap. Yeah, it's not too bad. I might have to tweak with the settings a little bit more with the with the video settings. What is that? That's a schematic. I've never seen that before. Sniper rifle schematic. Yay! <laughs> I found something useful. So they have obviously changed the loot tables. I think they've changed the books now into schematics. So you need to pick up schematics for each different little item now, which is kind of cool. I kind of like that. The books are kind of weird. But I think they were just kind of like a like an alpha phase type of item. So maybe they talked about it and came up with a better way of, of doing things. So yeah, so I can totally see that. Oh, look at that. There's a house here. So let us run down here. Let's fight over that. That's a new prefab that they added. 
I really like this new way with these paths. So that's cool. So let us try and make... <coughs> let's see here. I can turn this into scrap. I need four pieces of scrap. Okay. Once I have the scrap, I can then make... Where is it? Oh, I don't want a wooden club. I want... Where is it? Iron, iron reinforced club. That's what I want. Come on, make a good one. <laughs> I see a zombie coming to my right, the right of me. Okay, let's equip this thing. Okay, come on, buddy. Let's test this out. And on you, you're the target. I'm still kind of trying to get used to the distance. But it just because it feels a little bit different than what it normally does. Um, I think I also have, because I have the graphics turn, turned up, I'm kind of, you know, like, ooh, this is so cool. This game looks totally new. <laughs> the anti-aliasing makes it look kind of pretty. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Alpha 12, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit more of, of the same Alpha 11, but there's just you know, more content now. There's also the mini bike stuff. Which, I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with that stuff. Uh, let's see here. This is a cool house. Let's try and take it over here. I hear them banging on stuff for some reason. Huh. That's interesting. I wonder why there's so many zombies here. Is there anybody behind me? No, oh, okay. I might have to increase the mouse sensitivity just a tiny bit more. Okay, let them come this way. Let's get my pills ready. Okay. Let's see, come on, who's the fastest? Which one are you two? The one, the guy on the left, I say, would be f No, it's the, the cheerleader. There we go. So these guys take three hits with this weapon because uh, it sucks. But what can you do, right? They also change the quality of the weapons. So, for example, oh, look at that. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. So they still kind of have funny pathing, as you can, as you just saw there. They did try and fix that, but. Uh, I think it's something to do with the heights. They also changed the gore blocks. They changed the, how they behave and you know how they they degrade and stuff now. Um, as well, I think you can't destroy them as easily anymore, which is kind of interesting. There we go. Okay. Ooh, look at that! Looks like an arrowhead. They also added kind of different types of ammo. So like you can have flaming arrows. You could have Oh, look at that! They're already this is already a, a gore block. You can have oh, empty plague nurse. Okay. There's also you, you do items like glue and duct tape, and that looks like a bear. Why are you going near the house? Really, bear? Like I want to go loot this place, man. Really? Oh man. That's lame. Oh shit. Shit. Really? Really? Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. It's mad. Um uh, yeah, okay, let's run this way. See if we can lose sight of him. Where is this going? Up the side of this mountain? Are you kidding me? Yeah, they definitely need to still work on the map generation. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah, go, 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 buddy. Go, follow the road to... To... To what? There's like a little pool here. Um... 
that's it. That's the highlight. Man, I hope that bear is not still following me. Oh yeah, they added the grass sounds. Oh, what's this stuff? That's cool. It looks like it's going to the desert biome. Whoa, okay. So no bear probably no longer following me. Um, it's not still hunted. Unless that's from the zombies. Man! Yeah, well, this is Alpha 12. I would show you a lot more, but I don't know. <laughs> just wanted to get a video out, kind of just to you know, see what I think of it. See if I was able to kind of survive a day in this. And you know, low looks like they made things a little bit more difficult, which is kind of nice. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of looking forward to playing with Lushable with this. I kind of have an idea for that one, for when we do play together. I'm thinking of kind of you taking my time to reach to Lushbull because you know as you know it's the last few times where where we would try to get together um, it just ends up you being a gong show right so let's make a bow here see if we can make some arrows out of this iron arrowhead here okay so while that's crafting let us uh, what do I need what do I need I need all oh, those bears are really annoying actually Especially if they aggro at a large distance. So let's go down this way a little bit. What? I just want to check out this stuff over here. This is probably like a different kind of biome altogether. Okay, no, let's go this way. Zombies, zombies everywhere. Zombies, zombies in my face. <laughs> uh. I don't know. Yeah, so basically, yeah, no, the plan is to go a little bit more nomadic in with Lushable. You kind of you work my way to, to finding him in the game. Because I think that would be a little more profitable. Kind of do some looting on the way. It's kind of the idea I had. That bear is kind of a cool new addition to kind of like the hostile creatures. Oh, I hope this is recording good. Otherwise, I'll have to redo it. Ha, ha, ha. But, yeah, I don't know. But definitely, you know, like I have a bunch of Alpha 11 footage. So, that's going to be coming out for the next little while. If I do have any Alpha 12 footage to upload, it will be kind of... I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out a different method of recording, I think. You know, these gaming sessions with Lushable and Goblin Bait. Because it's almost... You have, I don't know, it's almost uneditable to edit like three hours worth of footage, right? So it's just too long, too challenging. It's just, yeah. So I need to figure out a different way of editing. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to do these kind of style where basically I hop on, I start recording, do my intro, and then do my outro, and then I'm done. So I think that's kind of what we got to do. Yeah. Um... Okay, we're down here already. Nice. So you can run a lot more than what you used to be able to, which is kind of cool. Let's see, is there any loot in here? Okay, this is still where we were. Okay, I'm drawing trash. They still kind of have like, camera issues a bit. Maybe it's the mouse sensitivity. Maybe I just have to kind of crank it up just a tad more. Because I like it to be sensitive, but not too sensitive, if that makes sense. I just like it where I move it and it goes there, but it seems to be a little bit delayed. So, yeah, the sensitivity in this game is a little bit different than what I'm used to in other games. So that's why I usually crank up the sensitivity in these games. Oh, what's that? Did I, I thought I saw a building, but no. It's like a pig noise. Oh, what's that? Are we like... Oh, look at this. It's like a desert biome. Wow. Okay. Huh. Look at that. That's a cool. Hey, look. They changed the road a bit. Man. 
I'm liking this new generation, but there's still inconsistencies. Like if you look at right here, you can see this little bump that forms here. Oh wow, look at that. Let's go check out that structure. Let's see if we can create any more items. Um, we can go arrows, I think. Arrow. I know we can go iron arrow. I'm just going to craft one because I want to see if this works or not. Yeah, it's... Why is it... Uh, hmm, how do you... Iron arrow. See, but there's no damage on it if you notice that. And I don't know if that's because it's a bug or because it's something to do with these iron arrows. But how do I load these into that? Do I just kind of hit R or... Whoa! Do I have to like, kind of like left click this? Right click? Ah, uh, why can't I load them? Oh, there's zombies now. Yeah, so that's interesting. I'm not sure if you need something specific to shoot the iron arrows. Let's go over here. Let's check this place out here. There'll probably be a lot of zombies as always. There's a lot of trash cans which are good because... Oh, what's that? That's in, you know, the, the leather helm. In one of our videos, uh, my brother Yelushable and Echo mentioned that this leather hat looks like Daft Punk, and I had to look that up, and I I forgot that Daft Punk was a, a type of electronic music group type of thingy. So yeah, no, that's pretty cool. <laughs> they completely look like them. <laughs> um, so yeah, which is kind of interesting. So lots of zombies here for some reason. So I guess houses initially have a lot of zombies around them. I don't know if I can take this out. I need to craft something. How many tokens? I need to use that, I think. I need to craft another one of those... Uh, what is it here? <coughs> Iron... Reinforced club, that's what I have to build. Oh man, it sounds like they're getting close. Look at that, look at all the zombies there. Wow. That's insane, man. Just insane. I keep wanting to hit I. I'm gonna shift. You click that one in, and let's see if we can clear this area out. Look at that, it's almost gonna be nighttime. See? Now, why did that guy turn around? Really? It's going back up the hill. Oh well, let's mix this. There we go, that one's dead. Okay, good. More iron is good. Mm, let's take out. Come on, Chicky. Yeah, this is gonna be tough, man. Because look at them, they're, they're everywhere. Now they're gonna start swarming. Man, this is tough. I don't know if I'll be able to do the loot runs. Maybe I will have to go find Lushable Elko. <laughs> oh, man. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I could keep playing this forever and ever, but you know what, everybody? Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hopefully, you've enjoyed yourselves. And yeah, you know, I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. I'm not sure what the next episode will be, but there definitely will be more of this stuff. Uh, maybe I'll just hit save and then we'll kind of carry on with the next episode with this, depending on what happens. I know this week I'm thinking Lush Echo might be a bit too busy to record with. Because I know there's just some stuff with my daughter going on, and yeah, so I'm not sure about that. I'll have to, I might have to give him a call here just to see what's going on. 
Oh shit. Oh, okay. Bang, man, these guys are tough. There we go. Oh, look at that. There you go, Chicky. Ugh. Bang! Crush skull, why are they going that way? Or are they just screwed up because of all the grass and stuff? See, like, look at that. I think their pathing is screwed. <laughs> that's okay, though, that's okay. I'll take, I'll use that. <laughs> if that makes them easier to kill, then I will take advantage of that situation. But man, just like, look at the clouds, look at the... It's like a whole new game for me. <laughs> and hopefully we'll see, you know, once you start you're putting up more light sources, if I'll have kind of frame rate issues. Uh, right now though I think this is doing really good. I'm surprised I haven't had to... Yeah I just hope it's recording because I have it set to record but I forgot to change it in OBS so unless something's changed with the executable I, th I think OBS should pick it up fine. Let's just smash his face in. Okay. Whoa! I don't really care about the loot at the moment. Just, there's, there's too many of them. Ouch! I need to regain some stamina here. Man, there's a lot of them. I'll have to kill this chicky here. Let's take out this chicky. Are we going back into a different biome? Oh no! 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 no. No, 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 no. Do I have my... Do I not have a band-aid? Oh man, we're screwed. Plus my thing's gonna break. Okay. Let's pop a pill for extra measure. Let's change to our axe. Man, okay, well, thank you everybody for watching, and <laughs> I'll, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>